Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Hey, in this video, we are going to discuss how we can install and set up Eclipse IDE on Windows 11 for Java development. So with that being said, let's get started. To set up Eclipse IDE for Java development, first of all, we have to install Java JDK. To download Java JDK, simply open any browser, search for Java JDK and open the link from oracle.com. Don't worry about the download link, I'll provide the download link in the description box. And here we have the download page. Java 24 is the latest Java SE development kit. Here simply click on JDK 24, select your operating system and here simply download the installer file. Here you can see it is downloading, it is around 200 MB, so let me complete the download. Once downloaded, simply open the installer file. So here we have the installation window. Let me minimize the browser. Click on next. Here we have an option to change the default Java installation location. If you want to change it, you can simply click on change button and browse the location. But I'll suggest you to keep it default. Then click on next. And wait for the installation process to complete. Once it get installed, simply close the setup window. Now we have to set up the Java environment variable. For that, simply open file explorer, click on this PC, open the C drive, he look for programs files, simply open it and look for Java folder. Inside Java folder, you will find the JDK folder, open it and open the bin folder. Now copy this path. After that, here on the search option, search for environment variable. So here we have edit the system environment variable option. Simply click on it. Then click on environment variables option. Here we have two variable. One is user variable and system variable. Under system variable, look for path. Select it, then click on edit. Now here click on new and paste the bean folder path. After that, click on OK, then click on OK. Here click on OK. Once you have set up Java on your Windows system, simply open the browser and search for Eclipse IDE and open the link from eclipseide.org. Don't worry about the download link, I'll provide the download link in the description box. Here click on download option and simply download the Eclipse installer for Windows. Here click on download button and wait for the download process to complete. Once downloaded, simply open the installer file. Here we have Eclipse installer window, let me minimize the browser. Before installing Eclipse IDE for Java developers, we have to update the installer. For that, click on this menu icon, Here click on update, accept the license agreement and wait for the update process to complete. Once the update has been completed, it will auto start the installer. Here simply select Eclipse IDE for Java developers and click on install button. Accept the software agreement and wait for the installation process to complete. Once it get installed, you can simply click on launch option to open it. Here simply select your workspace directory, then click on launch. Now you are ready to do Java programming using Eclipse IDE. Let me show you how you can create your first Java project using Eclipse. For that, click on file option, then click on new, here click on Java project, name your project, safe example test, then click on next and click on finish. Here we have our Java test project. Now to create a Java class file, simply expand the source folder, right click on it, then click on new, here click on class and name your class. 
Safe example demo. Select a modifier as public and select the method public static void main. Then click on finish. And it will create demo class file. Save example, you want to print hello world using Java. For that, here simply type system out dot print ln and put parenthesis and here you can simply pass your string that is hello world. After ending statement, simply put semicolon. Now to run this file, click on this run button, click on select all, then click on OK. And here on the console, you find hello world. That means Eclipse IDE is properly set up for Java programming. So that's it. This is how you can install and set up Eclipse IDE for Java programming on Windows 11. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.